story of the evening guys so uh this is my favorite story uh, just let him read it for himself yes mm, no no it's too hard uh, uh, yes. let's... well <laughs> i know it's hard <laughs> that was intentional okay uh <laughs> national bank hit by ransomware trolls hackers with dick pics was this also conti uh, no this is high Oh, hi. Okay. So after suffering a ransomware attack by the Hive operation, the Bank of Zambia made it clear that they were not going to fail. The Hive <laughs> operation? The Bank of Zambia made it clear that they were not going to pay by posting a picture of male genitalia. So they said, suck this dick and stop blocking bank networks thinking that you will monetize something. I mean, like, good on you to the bank. Uh, for like punching back that that was good that was funny that was good yeah i, I think this is one of the first times where it, so if you if you read the ransomware reports it's obvious that non-payment is starting to get more popular yeah. you know obviously the, the numbers on people actually paying ransoms um are way down and some companies have moved to physical tape and some just aren't paying uh but it is the first time that it felt like the ransomware group was not in control of that conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, it just kind of gives me like BOFA energy. Okay, what's BOFA? BOFA these nuts. <laughs> like Bank of America. Good Big job. Good, Good job. That was a slow wall and you hit it out of the park. That's a tea ball. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I was thinking about this joke when I wrote the story, but you guys can continue, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, so like ransom suck, but sticking it to the ransomware gang. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's cathartic. Um, and yeah, I mean, we see that anyone who pays immediately gets hacked like again. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, long term, it might be the better solution. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought Hive. So when I read the story, I read it wrong because I thought that Hive the ransomware gang Hive. Uh, they they encrypted everything, <laughs> and then to ex further extort the company, they were sending dick pics until they paid. Right. right. Not that I'm suggesting ideas, but I thought that was a brilliant move well, by the ransomware gang. It's like. I will keep sending you nudes of various hackers until you pay the ransom. But the, the beautiful thing is that as the ransomware gangs are getting more corporate, the tired out corporations after two or three years just are coming up with these with this punk vibe. Yep. And uh, I think I think honestly, the subtext of that story is they knew that word would get around. You know, yeah. they, they're obviously trying to start a conversation. They're trying to start some yep. stuff. Because it's not only like, should you not pay, you should aggressively not pay. That's the most aggressive that you can be with non-payment. There's a poll that I think that uh, Divya should read. A tweet by Malware Hunter team, it was like actually a poll. If DickPix appears in a payment site page, chat for a victim of a ransomware gang, it means that A, some idiot got access to the chat. B, the victim not plans to pay the ransom and so sending some kind message the two actors yeah it, it was poorly worded yes. but we get we get the gist yeah. really am kind of disappointed that it wasn't hive sending the dick pics because it's like insult to injury it's like i i'm ransoming you and i'm just like cyber bullying you at the same time <laughs> steve oh <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> this has been an episode of Bourbon and Data Breaches. If you liked everything you saw today, good for you. Uh, Why wouldn't you? If you? Hated everything you saw today, it's probably because of the dick pics. Um, uh, if you have a breach or a bourbon you'd like us to cover, you can contact us somehow. Until next time. <laughs>